Saturday the 6th of June. Here we go do again to demonstrate our movements for our warm up and our workout and our exercise work. So starting from warm up, we're gonna go for a 400 meter run or any cardio variation you've got. If you're staying sort of on jump rope or jumping jacks to start, you're gonna do that for two minutes. Then we're gonna go into our sumo inchworms, five sumo inchworms, so it's wide stance, break the hips, walk those hands all the way out, full extend your push up, form one push up, then your feet go to your palms. So then once we've done that, we're gonna do, if you've got a barbell or, or an old object, you're gonna do eight remaining deadlifts. If you don't, we're simply gonna do no weight, single legged RDLs. So falling forward, reaching down as far as you can. Same hand goes down as the leg goes back. Then we're gonna go into eight bent over rows with an odd object if you've got one or a barbell if you've got that. It can be single arm with a dumbbell or a kettlebell or we can use the odd object as we're demonstrating here. Making sure you squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Then we're gonna go, if you've got the beauty and luxury of having a pot bar at home, you're gonna do five, six hip swings, sorry. Otherwise you're gonna take a seat on the ground, lie down and perform six hollow rocks. Nice and tight, hips pop up slightly, get that midline switched on. And then you're gonna roll over onto the ground, you're gonna do six dips here, or you're gonna do six dime push-ups. So hands are together, chest goes all the way down, extend all the way up. All right guys, so then we are going to go through that one more time. However, this time, instead of our sumo inchworms, we're going to do five dive bombers. So you walk hands out, and then you sweep that head down, up and under that fence, and stick that bum back into the downward dog. So you're gonna perform five of that, and go back through the rest of those movements. Then we're gonna move on to a skipping specific warm up. So get us running in the right manner, how we need to be when we're out there pulling, running, sorry, pulling those feet off the ground. So we're gonna, Excuse us in advance here, we're both a little bit uncoordinated with skipping. We haven't done this in school, so bear with us. We're gonna start with our skipping forward, just basically skipping out forward, and then we're gonna stay face the same way and come back backwards. Then we're simply gonna turn sideways and come out with our lateral skips. That was kind of a karaoke, we're gonna try and skip that. So it's a lateral skip. Oh, come on, Dad. And then, sorry, I just had to pick up the Gurdjie's demos there. And then we're going to go on to our skip for height. So the same as skipping, we're going to train as high as possible. Then we're going to go into our skips for distance. So the same, we want to get each skip as long as possible. And then we're going to finish with speed skip. So nice, short, little, sharp, fast feet. So that's our skipping specific warm-up, guys. It's going to get us in the right pattern for our running. Then we're going to go into more of a specific specific warm up for that midline for our pull ups if we've got that or for our rowing and stuff. So we're gonna start with some horizontal pulling. So it'd be a pull ups if you've got that one you perform three strict pull ups. If you don't we're gonna simply do bent over rows, towel rows, it's completely up to you. So we're using objects here for a bent over row and then we're going to go on to two to three hollow rocks and then right over on your belly for two to three arch rocks. Again, staying nice and tight, pulling those thighs and chest off the deck, keeping your feet nice and tight. All right, guys, so our workout today, minimal gear. It starts with a cash in of an 800 meter run. Or it can be on a bike or a row, it's completely up to you, or a skier, whatever you got available. And then we're gonna hit the couplet of a odd object deadlift. So we're just gonna demonstrate the curve over here. If you've got two, you can use two. If you've just got a single one, or well, same thing applies. Again, if this is really light for you, increase your reps. So 21 of them. Then you're going to go on to 19 of our horizontal pulling. That can be again bent over rows with a single object or a dual object, or you can use table rows, ring rows. It's completely up to you. And then you go back to the deadlifts. 15, nine horizontal horizontal pulls, nine deadlifts, and then six horizontal pulls. Then you're going to finish with a a cash out of 800 meter, 800 meter run, 800 meter cardio movement, it's completely up to you. So that is the workout, it is 800 meter buy-in with an 800 meter cash out and the couplet in the middle, our horizontal pulling and our odd object deadlifts. Our complete body weight variation starts and finishes exactly the same with 800 meters and in the middle we've got our couplet of 42 sorry reps of our athletic burpee. So it's simply a no push-up burpee and then exploding as high as you can on the top. So you're gonna perform 
We're going to perform 43 of them, sorry, and then you're going to go on to your dips, 21 dips. Just come off a bench or anything you've got, come here, couch, whatever you've got, dipping down nice and deep. To make it more challenging, you're going to have those legs extended out in front. So you're going to do 21 of them, then you're going to go back to your athletic burpees for 30 reps, then 15 dips, then 18 athletic burpees, and nine dips. And again, we finish with that 800 meter run. So guys, it's that simple. It's a nice little burn, a toasty one, and a bit of longer endurance in there. Then we're gonna move on to our accessory work, just finish a bit of midline work. So, we're gonna, we're gonna be seated on the ground. It's gonna be 90 seconds of L, our L-sit over object. So try to stay as vertical as you can, do a little lean back, that's fine, but try and stay as perpendicular floor as you can, lifting those legs over the object and back. So the catso guys, whenever you break, you have to perform five diamond push-ups as we've done in the walk. So we can demonstrate again, hands nice and close, chest to deck and pressing up. So that's our Saturday guys, get at it and enjoy. Bye! <laughs>